Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome to Tag Tuesday. For today's tag, I will be doing the No Disclaimers book tag. This is a tag that's really going around right now, and it's a controversial tag. Sometimes I really love talking about those controversial stuff, even though I'm nervous to talk about them at the same time because there's a possibility that people are going to disagree with me and... I don't want to cause any feuds. And going along with that, if I talk badly about like a book you like or an author, just know that it's no attack against you, it's just my opinion. Ironic that this is a no disclaimers book tag, but I'm putting a disclaimer in this video, but you just have to because with booktube, you know, the people get really sensitive and with YouTube in general, viewers get so sensitive and I don't want to set anyone off, so. I have to put a disclaimer in a no disclaimers book tag. So without any further ado, let's just get into the questions. So the first question is, which trope or tropes in books annoy you the most? I have too many <laughs> to name off. I have so many tropes that I don't like. Um, to name one, this is one that I wrote down, and that is the really hot popular guy falling for the plain boring girl. We see this trope so much in YA and it drives me insane because honestly we have to admit that it's not realistic. Sometimes this can happen for a really hot guy who is super popular that everyone loves has all these girls coming after him to fall in love with the plain girl who's not that pretty, she's just plain, has no personality, it doesn't make any sense to me. If that happens in books, then why am I still single? Because I'm super plain and super shy, so like, why am I still single? That doesn't make any sense. Like, if it happens to this character, it should happen to me, right? Right? I don't know. It's just so weird and so unrealistic. Like I said, not that this doesn't happen in real life, but it because it does, but it just doesn't happen that often. What's even worse though is when the guy falls for the very attractive pretty girl but she has no personality. It just makes the guy come off as shallow because really he's only attracted to her looks. That's what he likes about her because she has no personality. It just It's a trope that I want to see go away. I don't like reading about it at all. The next question is which writer or writers do you feel are overrated? Rainbow Rowell. She's so overrated. I have read three of her books. I have read Landline and Eleanor and Park which I thought were okay but then I read Fangirl and I despise that book. I have a whole rant review on it that I listed off all the reasons why I think this book is problematic and is not good and honestly I just think her writing is just okay like there's nothing special about it and I think her books are just average so I don't get why Rainbow Rowell is so hyped up it doesn't make any sense to me but maybe her writing just doesn't work for me? I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of her books. The next question is what are your least favorite books since starting booktube? Fortunately I don't have a lot of books that I've hated since starting booktube. I can name a few. The first one like I said is Fangirl, Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, and All the Rage by Courtney Summers. Those are the three that I can name at the top of my head that I didn't like. But other than that, I can't think of any more that I didn't like. So that's probably a good thing that I don't hate a bunch of books. The next question is, what is a terrible ending that ruin an otherwise quality book? It kills me to say this answer because this is one of my favorite series, but that is A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. This book overall was just okay. I did think the plot was a little boring. There was a lot of talking and less action, but I thought for the most part the beginning and middle of the book was pretty good and then we get to the ending and it's just like goes downhill. I felt like the ending was really poorly done, so that kind of ruined the book for me. Which makes me sad because this is my favorite fantasy series, but you know, sometimes that just happens. Question number five is, which fictional character or characters do you wish were not killed off? 
I don't know why this question is in here because it is a spoiler question. So I guess what I'll say is if you have not read A Court of Wings and Ruin, which I've just mentioned, mute the video now and I'll put the word spoiler on the screen and when it goes away then you can unmute the video because the spoiler will be over. So I really wish the serial wouldn't have died. I loved the serial throughout the whole series. He was so kind to Feyre and so sympathetic to her that I just thought he was such like a great person or creature and it just really killed me when he died because I really loved his character and I literally did cry. It was such an emotional time for me but the serial is gone and it's just really hard for me to accept. I'm still not over it and I read that book like so many months ago. It just really hit me hard. The next question is what are some of your bookish pet peeves? Again, I can list so many bookish pet peeves that I have. Going with a few I can think of, I really hate stickers on books. They're really irritating and need to stop. What also annoys me is differences in the height of books in a series. Like one book in the series will be this big and then the next book will be that big. It bothers me so, so much because they look really funny on my bookshelves. I don't understand why publishers have to make books and series different sizes. Stop with that. It's really annoying. And I also hate people on covers. Like sometimes they're done right, but other times they just look so awkward. I much prefer typography on the cover rather than people's faces. It just, I don't like looking at it. It's not pretty. The next question is, what are some books that you feel should have more recognition? So I would say Choker by Elizabeth Woods, The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is my favorite book, definitely deserves more hype. Things We Know by Heart by Jesse Kirby and Stolen by Lucy Christopher. I can name so many more than that, but we'd sit here forever going through them. Basically, there are a lot of books in the world that deserve more recognition because I just personally think they are amazing. But they're underhyped, which makes me really sad. The next question is, what is your thoughts on censoring and banning books? My thoughts are kind of mixed. It kind of just depends. In some cases, I think it's fine to ban a certain book from schools. But in other cases, the reason for banning a book can be so petty for example, when a book gets banned just because, like, it has a bad word in it, or it has one sexual reference in it, I just think it's so unnecessary because really when you think about it, kids are already exposed to these things, so what's the point of banning the book? It just sounds so stupid. I mean, if we're talking about Fifty Shades of Grey, that might be a book that I could understand that would be banned. But then there's a book like Looking for Alaska that is banned because it includes drinking, smoking, drugs. But the thing is, that's not what the book is entirely about. So it just really irks me when a book like that gets banned just because it has a few scenes where the character is smoking or doing drugs. Like, that happens in real life. Kids know about that stuff, so why ban it? It just, uh, it makes me so, so mad. So yeah, my thoughts on banning books are kind of mixed, but for the most part, I think it's really dumb because there are a lot of books out there that are banned that really shouldn't be. And the last question is, who do you tag? Now, I don't normally tag on tag videos because I never know who to tag, but this time I actually wrote down some channels that I'm going to tag for once. The first one is Kit Kats Can Read, Books and Smiles, and Random Girl Reading. So if you guys are watching this video, you are tagged, and hopefully I'll see this tag video from you guys really soon. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more bookish-related videos and Tag Tuesday.